Hello, this is Mr. Martin. Uh, in this video, uh, we are uh, in geometry working with uh, ratios and proportions. Uh, the previous two videos uh, we're talking about ratios, and in this one, we're going to introduce proportions, which uh, you probably have worked with before, so um, you should have some uh, background knowledge about this. So let's start with what is a proportion? So a proportion is an equation, okay, and this is important because equations have equal signs. Equations have equal signs, okay? So a proportion is an equation that states that two ratios are equal, okay? A proportion is written as, so for example, we'll have A over B is equal to, there's our equal sign, C over D, all right? So if you take a peek down below, you'll see a whole bunch of proportions where they have one fraction is equal to another fraction, all right? And in order to solve these, we're going to use the cross product property so basically, for any proportion, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply across. So this is really just a shortcut. So we're going to multiply those, and we're going to multiply those. Again, this is just a shortcut for getting rid of our denominators to solve this. You know, we could multiply both sides by something to get rid of those, but our shortcut here is to um, use our cross product property, which says that a times D, so that's one of our cross products, is equal to B times C. And that's what we're going to use to solve these. So um, as always, make sure you pause if the video is going too fast or if you have questions that you want to ask. And uh, let's continue on and do a couple of these. And uh, the ones that we don't do, those will be assigned uh, to you to finish up as part of your assignment. All right, so let's take a look at number 11. I'm just going to circle my cross products here. Okay, so I have 4 times 7 is equal to x times 2. So we normally just write that as 2x. So I've got uh, 28 is equal to 2x. I'll divide both sides by 2. And I get that x is equal to... 14. All right, so again, if I'm going too fast, make sure you pause and slow me down. All right, let's take a look at number 13. All right, so let's uh, circle our cross products here again. So I have this cross product and this cross product. And it doesn't really matter what you put on either side. Um, you know, if you like your variables always on the left, do it that way. Now, we have to be careful here because I have x minus 1 over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some parentheses around that. I'm going to put parentheses, and that's going to be my, my reminder. Okay, so as I look ahead here, I see number 14. I have another quantity here, so I'm going to put parentheses around that to remind me. And in number 15, let's put parentheses around that. And number 16, let's put parentheses around that. So anytime you see something that's not just a single number, if you have a quantity of two things there, make sure you, you put your parentheses around there, and I'll show you why. So now let's multiply across here. So I have 19, and I have times x minus 1 equals 6 times 13. So if you remember from algebra, now I need to distribute this 19. So I have 19 times x minus, and then 19 times 1 is equal to 6 times 13, which is 78. So let's add 19 to both sides. And I get 19x is equal to 97. So let's continue up here. 
19x is equal to 97. Divide both sides by 19. And in this case, I get that x is 5.1. So we're not always going to get a whole number for an answer. Uh, so there's no need to worry about that. Um, so x is 5.1. And if I plugged 5.1 in here, I would get 4.1 over 6. If I calculated that on my calculator, 5.1 divided by 6, it should give me the same as 13 divided by 19. So you could check that on your calculator if you wanted to. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. Go ahead and finish uh, all the rest of the problems that we didn't do here through uh, number 18 and get help when you need it. And we'll see you in the next video.